Robert Shear, I have waited my whole life for this day. As a kid, I would draw pictures with crayons of me in my Cinderella dress and my future Prince Charming. Every day in college, I prayed on this rosary for you, even though I hadn't met you yet. I would pray your day was going well, your faith was growing deeper, and that I would meet you the next day. I had no idea that God created a man who was better than I could have ever imagined, who made me love God more and made me a better person. You came into my life when I least expected it, but needed it most. You have been my best friend, my comfort, and companion. After our first date, I knew that you were the most romantic, gentle, and playful man I've ever met. And later when we held hands for the first time, I said, God, please let him be the one. I love your high-pitched laugh and your smile that you wear whenever I catch you looking at me. I knew right away you were a gentleman because even though you said you were competitive, you always let me win. And when I won, my win was a win for you too. You have always put me first, even on the worst days. You have served me so lovingly and sacrificed for me more than anyone else. Even before we dated, I shared all my secrets and vulnerabilities with you, ones that I would only share with my husband someday. But I knew you were different. You have treated me better than I treat myself and called me beautiful when I feel ugly. I wish every woman can be treated by someone the way you treat and respect me. You are incredibly patient, gentle, and understanding. And if that's not husband material enough, you're handy too. Saying I do to you today is the most confident I've ever been. I've never been so sure of anything else in my whole life. Robert, today I am overjoyed to be your wife. I truly believe God made me for you and you for me. I promise to love you through the ugly days just as hard as I will through the good days. I promise to be your lifelong best friend. I promise to kiss you every time I say goodbye. I promise to let you love me even when I'm grumpy. I promise to pray with you and for you. And I promise to choose you and serve you today and every day for the rest of my life. I love you and see you at the altar. Your wife, Mary. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Robert and Mary, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends. As today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Hey love, we made it. After one year, 10 months, and five days of being engaged, we made it. We knew this journey together would be exciting, unpredictable, and brand new for both of us. I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone but you. Though my relaxed approach at the beginning and my challenges with time, you collaborated with me. Through my struggles with details and dates, you walked with me. Through my lack of knowledge of weddings and receptions as a whole, you taught me. With every second, you loved me. You make life so exciting, bright, and energetic. Never before have I been excited about Sammy's, Chippies, or Snackies. The Squishmallows at Kroger make me laugh every time I think of their poor abuse. I see you and your love everywhere. The music I listen to, the photos on my phone, how I treat other people. You've shown me how to attend to and care for everyone I come across, even when it's hard. You are the definition of a true caretaker. Loving you has been, and is, the greatest joy God has given me. You shine his light so radiantly, and I'm forever attracted to it. Your beauty is indescribable. Whether you're in a sundress for mass, scrubs, a cutoff in gym shorts, or a wedding dress, you genuinely shine like gold. The fact that I, Robert Shear, get to call you my wife today, lifts my stomach up with butterflies. Picture the house and up. Make that my stomach, and the balloons butterflies, and that's what it's like. I love every part of you. Your soft smile, your perfectly shaped hands for mine, your mischievous laugh, your insight and drive, and your gentleness. And even when you make your toes do a peace sign in church, 
I love you, Mary, and I will continue to choose to for the rest of my life. From our first night in the library, I knew we fit well together. You're my best friend, my mentor, and my partner. I cannot wait to see you and what our future holds. Our history has been enough material for Nicholas Sparks' book. Let's go get married, honey. I, Robert, take you, Mary, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Mary, take you, Robert, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Mary, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Robert, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the great privilege of introducing to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Robert and Mary Shear. You may now kiss the bride. Because of you, I more fully understand the strength and depth of how God loves. You have cherished me with every part of your being, and I adore you with every part of mine. How beautiful it is to have a love that is even a fraction of God's, and how beautiful it is that it's ours. just a small interaction with Mary, nothing that really stuck out to her, probably because she was in such a frantic state. But long after, Mary found out that Robbie went home that night, and in his journal, he wrote about how he had interacted with the most incredible girl. And I know all. <laughs> and, and if he could see and take notice of what an amazing person Mary is, even her worst state, well, that's for better or for worse. I can't think of someone who deserves Mary more than you, Robbie, and I can't imagine someone who Mary would want to grow old with more than you. 